What's going on guys? We are out here at a lake that should be pretty productive this time of year. Last time I was here I caught like one crappie, a couple northerns, and a couple bass I think. But uh, it's really really early spring now, the water's still like real cold so you know today we're probably just going to be bouncing around to a lot of different spots just trying to find some fish. Um, I got some minnows right here and I'm probably going to be pairing those up on the slit bobber rod and yeah I mean we're just gonna be really going for anything that bites hopefully some crappies but uh yeah let's get into it all right I found some calm water here pretty much all this rig is it's just a bobber bobber stop up there little hook there and uh we're just gonna hook a minnow on and see if we can get anything Well, here is our fish of the day right here. It is a little bullhead, it looks like. Little bullhead, dead. All right, I got a uh, little jig head on, Just a tiny little twister tail and a minnow. Let's seeing if we can get anything to bite here. Holy crap, did you just see that? That thing almost jumped into the boat for crying out loud. There's one, got one. No, oh, dude, he cut off, no, no. No, bro. Dude, he broke me off, too. He broke me off, dude. Broke me clean. That's clean break off right there. It was, uh, since he broke me off, I'm almost 100% sure a, uh, pike. But hey, man, at least I got to feel something on my hook. Because it's been a while. There's one. There's one. Got one. Got one, dude. Got one. Got one. I'm recording, man. Big bass, big bass, big bass, big bass. Big bass, big bass. No! Well, I'm not gonna retie because that hook is a little bit bent. Oh. Dude, this is like my third snag in the span of like five minutes. Just lost one. That was like a nice fish too. It's just not really my day. There's one. Right next to the boat, dude. Nice bass, nice bass, nice bass. Nice pass. Nice pass, dude. Nice pass. Got him. Got him. Holy crap, bro. Look at, look at how fat that fish is. Oh, my. Oh, dude. Look at how fat that fish is. Oh, oh, dude. 
Oh, just choked it, bro. Dude, that fish has been eating. Oh my goodness. This fish is like, this, this fish is probably just got four pounder. Holy cow, dude. Yep, popped it off. Okay. There's, I'm gonna get the scale out right now. Scale is on. All right. What the heck? Scale, you gonna work here? Not now. Okay, I'm gonna get him a little bit of a wash off here. Keep him in the water. That was a horrible picture. Let me do that again. Alrighty. That fish is a pig, dude. Talk about just like a monstrous bass. Last time for this stupid scale to work. Like, that is the fattest largemouth bass I've ever caught. It's not even close. Oh, he's right at 19. All right. All right, say goodbye to big, big old mama. Thank you for biting. Oh yeah, she's gone. Let's go. Well, on that fish right there, my scale chose to die right at the worst moment. It, I'll say that that one right there was up there for biggest bass I've ever caught. That one's either that one's either like one or two. I was just kind of like doing this with it, just kind of bouncing it right off the bottom, and he picked it up. Going on. Going on. What is it? Oh, it looks like another bass. Definitely not as big as the. Oh, he's not bad. He is not bad. Come here, boy. Eh. Average size. Average size bass right there. <laughs> Not a bad one, though. I thought I had the GoPro rolling. I looked and I didn't, so I... You guys probably didn't get to see much of the fight there, but... Um, I had to retie and put on a different little crappie jig because the other one got... Uh, broken off by something so that's just what i'm using pretty much just a tiny little hair jig with a twister tail on the end but uh you know probably like a pound bass i would say big but not a bad bass you can see that they're they're pretty healthy in here they're just they're just eating man they are just eating all right let's see up back he goes 